हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर तन्मय विश्वास आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय चैनल केमिस्ट्री द मिस्ट्री ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स टुडे इज एमसीक्यू इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई रिक्वेस्ट प्लीज पॉज द वीडियो राइट योर आंसर इन द कमेंट बॉक्स बिकॉज वन पॉइंट दैट सेल्फ इवेल्युएशन इज एसेंशियल फॉर इम्प्रूवमेंट एंड यू शुड इवेल्युएट योर नॉलेज ऑन केमिस्ट्री ना सो आई गेस यू हैव ट्राइड इट्स माई टर्न टू गिव यू द राइट आंसर लेट स्टार्ट बिफोर गोइंग टू डिटेल्स आई रिक्वेस्ट स्टूडेंट प्लीज look at the reagents carefully what are the chemical properties or functional group present in the reagent so first of all this there are three thing this molecule this benzonitrile and this hydrogen peroxide alkaline so what happens actually these reagent have two group one is alkene another is carbonyl fine and this is benzonitrile hydrogen peroxide alkali so let's start how to understand how what is actually happening so this is actually first step is a nucleophilic addition to create a active species how what do i mean in the reaction medium hydrogen peroxide and alkali is provided so what happens this alkali can abstract this proton and produce this hydroperoxide anion and water but it is actually a equilibration reaction so in the reaction medium which species will be present hydrogen peroxide alkali hydroperoxide ion and water so in this context a simple question will come what is the nature of this reagent this is actually a electrophilic reagent and this carbon center act as electrophile because this nitrogen is more electropositive so this is delta no this is delta minus and this carbon center is delta plus so a nucleophile will attack this carbon center question which can act nucleophile in this case either this hydroxide anion or this hydroperoxide anion can both can act as nucleophile so question who will attack as nucleophile obviously if we is a better nucleophile that will attack the carbon center and in this case this hydroperoxide anion is better nucleophile fine because in this case the attacking atom is same both o minus here also oxygen here also oxygen but this hydroperoxide has a unique property means there are actually this lone pair lone pair repulsion between this adjacent oxygen and this is called as this lone pair moment is called as alpha effect consequently because of this alpha effect this reagent became more reactive so more reactive means it can act as better nucleophile and it will attack this center fine so first it will produce this ph this is carbon double bond this is n minus so let me draw it little carefully this n minus and along with that o o h now it can act abstract proton from the medium means here you can see this proton is pro water is produced so it can act as abstract the proton and it can produce this so this is the active species so in previously reaction medium has hydrogen peroxide and now a uh, you may consider actually a ima amide type of corresponding Uh, you may consider par acid and in this context i request please call this mcpba um, please recall the mcpba mediated epoxidation of alkene i shall come after some time in details so it is produced and it will participate in the next step what do i mean here this is produced from this benzonitrile it will react with this molecule and in this case see this molecule you can compare with mcpba or meta chloro parbenzoic acid which is actually responsible for electrophilic epoxidation okay i have already discussed previously you may visit so what happened it oxidizes double bond alkene into corresponding epoxide so that similar property will be shown because only this is the difference now rest of the things are almost same from the chemical perspective if you think so in this case this hydro this is actually the main active species because here the oxidation state of this each oxygen is minus 1 and we know that oxygen has stable oxidation state is minus 2 because in this case oxygen have eight electrons okay and just i have told sometime before alpha effect so because of alpha effect hydrogen peroxide is reactive similar is available there also because there are also two lone pairs of electron which have their repulsion so these both are reactive so it reacts and what it does it oxidizes this alkene to the corresponding epoxide derivative 
So, and another what happens is the fate of this? We know what happened to the MCPBA. MCPBA converted into corresponding meta chlorobenzoic acid. Means you may consider one oxygen. More specifically, if I say this side oxygen is shifted from here to the alkene side, sorry, here there will be OH. So, similarly, it produces OH. And by the way, here if you look at, so what it will produce? This is NH, this is OH. So, this is the pH. So, it is expected to produce using same mechanism and now it will tautomerize instantly via this imine alcohol you may consider. So, it will convert into this amide. So, what is the fate of the benzonitrile what you have initially taken? The fate is actually an acid amide. So, this side acid amide and another side is epoxide. Now, what is the interesting thing we have observed here? Interesting thing is that hydrogen peroxide is actually a nucleophilic reagent, but in presence of benzonitrile what it produces this reagent, this reagent is actually electrophilic epoxidizing reagent. So, that is why we get epoxidation on this double bond and by the way you can think that sir hydrogen peroxide could directly attack on this carbonyl it is possible, yes student it is possible, but remember nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon is a reversible reaction, but this epoxidation is a irreversible reaction. So, ultimately this will be the product. So, what is the answer? Epoxidation on this double bond and rest of things are same. So, option D is the right answer. Now, if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds, how can you solve? First of all, you need to know this chemistry what is produced in presence of this nitrile not benzonitrile any nitrile hydrogen peroxide alkali. So, that thing you must remember I have already discussed in a dedicated lecture you may visit. So, what is the product and if you un can understand that thing you can understand that okay reaction will happen on here and these first two example option A and option B not possible they are actually beer villager oxidation I have already discussed. So, here the condition is not beer villager oxidation. Okay, and this is not possible also. So, the answer is option D. Now, so in conclusion what we have learned? Hydrogen peroxide itself cannot oxidize simple alkene or carbonyl directly because alkene is electron rich, hydrogen peroxide is electron rich. So, not possible, but in which case hydrogen peroxide can oxidize any alkene to corresponding epoxide when the alkene is alpha beta unsaturated means this one in this case we know because of this canonical form this beta carbon have some positive charge density means because of the conjugation with this carbonyl group this double bond is electron deficient relatively consequently epoxidation can happen on here I have already discussed previously. Hydroperoxide ion is a beta nucleophile because of the alpha effect and it can made an addition product with the nitrile which is the main intermediate responsible for this epoxidation of alkene. And the another one hydrogen peroxide oxidizes nitrile into amide. I please visit this video because this is a very important concept and you should know about the process too. So, this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. If possible, please visit another one of my channel climate and chemistry where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. Thank you again. Take care. See you in my 